Hey there. Um, some strange things have happened. Um, I am getting a bit, um, ill, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, from my diet that I've been doing. Um, like the brain fog kind of shit from not eating enough really was hitting me hard and I was recording a podcast and I suddenly couldn't remember what I was supposed to say and I started stumbling on my words I started stuttering and I just completely had no idea what the fuck I was supposed to be talking about and this sucks it's kind of fucking scary you know so, like, I had a bunch of electrolytes, I ate something, took a bunch of vitamins, and I'm just, like, waiting to, like, ride out this bullshit. But, um, yeah, I don't know. You just, I guess, gotta be careful. Like, it's hard to fucking get a bunch of shit done when your brain's like, yeah, I'm gonna take the day off, like, suck a dick, you know, I'm out. So, whatever. to try this today. It is really windy. Is it not shutting? I don't know if you're even going to be able to pick me up, but we'll see. Just give you something other than me to look at while I am that is interesting or not. We will find out. Okay, so I got an email from someone who will remain nameless because I don't want to cause them any shit. Um, sent me an email about a problem they're having. Um, and it's... Oh, fuck, that really fucking hurts. God damn it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, fuck. Oh, this better be fucking working. So we're going to go up, I can't do the stairs, so we're going to have to walk around in a circle five times. My prized peach. <sighs> the, oh, look at that bag floating in the air over there. Where is it? I just fucking saw it. Oh, it just went behind the building right there. Yep. 
there's the LA skyline. And there is, what the fuck was that? Oh, that's the crack in my windshield. Yeah, so the plastic bag's gone. It was the most beautiful thing in the world, guys, and you missed it. Yeah, that's downtown LA. That building right there is the one that the dragons climbed up on on Dragon Wars. You guys see that hawk, red-tailed hawk? Pretty fancy. Do you like my new sweater? It makes me feel kind of strange, actually. I feel like it's too dressy. I need to get a hoodie. I got this to wear in dressier occasions. And then I realized I don't really go anywhere dressy. But I have it now in case I do want to go somewhere dressy. So that's cool. And if you guys can do me a favor, if you can tell me, do you like when I do the heavy contrast, black and white um, vlog videos? I love it. And that's the only reason why I do it, because I really do like them. And uh, I remember when I was doing my regular videos like that, a bunch of people got pissed and like bitched about it. But I did a little experiment and a couple poet vlogs ago, I did the whole thing in color. And that one got a lot more views than my other ones did. So the question is, like, does it really bother you? It obviously bothers you because less people watch the black and white versions of these things. And that pisses me off because I am an artiste and I really shouldn't care. And I probably, I probably honestly won't change it. But if a lot of you were like, yeah, it just it drives me crazy, I hate it, then I'll think about it. In fact, as I'm filming this, I don't know if this is gonna be in color or black and white. I might just put it in black and white so I can see what this beautiful sweater would look like monochrome instead of um, this blue thing. I'm not a huge fan of colors. Typically, I typically like all my stuff black with white trim. Sometimes red. Sometimes gold, if I'm feeling gold. This is honestly why I like poetry so much. Because I can make a great deal of it really quickly. And I'm not spending months and months on a single project that I feel so fucking invested in that I'm gonna completely lose my shit if it isn't taken care of the way I want. And also, like, I don't know, like, if a poem of mine appears somewhere, great, it's a poem of mine. If a poem of mine appears somewhere with someone else's name on it, I'm gonna go gut a motherfucker. But that's why I'm starting my own publishing company. So I don't have to worry about what people say when I go and fucking throw motherfuckers down, you know? Jesus Christ. I feel silly talking about um, threatening people with violence while I'm wearing this sweater. It feels strange and awkward. Not a, oh shit, that just leaves the one up here. I'll fucking put a quarter in here to get the closest parking spot. That's fine. That's red. And this is red. Okay. So I'm going to have to pay for my parking, which is fine. I've gotten free parking enough times to not feel so bad about having to fucking pay for it. Okay, so I got 15 minutes. One quarter equals 15 minutes of time. I wonder what that is per month. Would it be cheaper for me to park on a meter from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. every day except Sunday than pay... 200 bucks to park in the parking garage. These are all 
really amazing questions. And I know some of you are really good at math because you have been answering my math questions. Yeah, that was really pleasant. I was the only one in there. The dude was cool. And we just shot the shit, talked about the weather. It's apparently raining tomorrow and the next day and the next day. So that was nice of him to give me that information that I should have gotten elsewhere. But now I know. So now I know that I will not be leaving Mikasa the next three days. Why? It's just rain, you say. Okay, well, we will be showing you proof footage of this. But how this works out is that in California, when it rains, it's like someone just turned on a fire hose. And it doesn't rain for very long, but on the six days a year it rains here, it becomes madness. The people who live here are so confused by the landlord letting a leaky faucet in the sky fuck up their day that they don't know what to do and so they start driving like fucking idiots and assholes and slamming on their brakes every two seconds and if a puddle's on the ground they come to a complete stop because they don't know they just don't understand what they are supposed to do I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.